There are four variants of the Mavericks uh, we can mount on the airplane. The D, the G, the H, and the K. This is the D variant. It has a uh, infrared seeker on it, and it has a warhead of 57 kilos. It can be mounted uh, up to three per station on stations three and seven. So a total of six of these can be mounted. This is the big brother to the D model. This is the G model. It also has an infrared seeker. But the warhead on this one is a 136 kilos. So it is uh, built for uh, hardened shelters and uh, we can only mount one of them under uh, stations three or seven or and seven. The H version is a TV guided uh, missile with a warhead of 57 kilos. And again, three can be mounted on stations three and on station seven. And the K is the uh, same as the H version, but uh, with the bigger warhead of 136 kilos. Again, with the uh, TV uh, seeker. All right, welcome on board. We've been called in to support some troops on the ground that will need our assistance. On our way, I'm gonna explain to you how we use our Mavericks. Today we are equipped with six AGM 65D models. They are the infrared versions. Uh, so master arm is arm, master mode we go at or ground. On the uh, right MFD we now have the SMS page that just popped up. It's telling us we are in at or ground, we are in vis mode, we can also select through this switch bore or pre, and we can also make the um, selection through the uh, cursor enable switch on the throttle of the F-16. Today we're going to be focusing on the vis and bore mode. Uh, control page, uh, we, we can use this page to set up a steer point and a geographic reference at which we want the uh, Mavericks to auto power off or auto power on. We're going to use this empty spot to double click and select the weapons page. This is uh, the uh, camera view from the seeker of our Maverick currently on station 3. And we can also use the missile step button to go into station 7. On our weapons page, we have operate, which is not in function, pre, which we can use to change the uh, mode of the Maverick, or we can use the cursor enable switch on the throttle of the F-16, FOV, field of view, to zoom in and out. You can also use the uh, expand FOV switch on the stick of the F-16. This is to uh, select your, your Mavericks. HOC hot over coal. This is just the um, symbology, black or white, and we can also do this with TMS left. In the heads up display, we have vis mode in the bottom left corner. We've got an asterisk telling us that the uh, heads up display is our current sensor of interest, the sensor we are working with. Uh, it's not very clear, but there's a box around my flight path vector. If I pull it back on the stick, there we go. We see the box around the flight path vector. So the uh, targeting box, the designator box, is slave to my flight path vector. I can also move it with my radar cursor switch. If I want to reset everything, I press TMS down. Let's move on to our uh, target area. I need an attack right now on those tanks. All right, we're coming in. Target is west of green smoke, west of green smoke. Copy, west of the green smoke, west of the green smoke. All right, let's start looking out the window. Oh, here's the green smoke. I see it now. All right. So what first example, I'm going to move my flight path vector just to the left of the green smoke and press TMS up. And all right, with TMS up, a few things have changed in the heads up display. Still viz. Now the asterisk is gone. Uh, the TD box now is, is stable to the ground. We got our dynamic launch zone that just appeared. It's a 20 mile scale. 
We are currently six miles out. If we move our attention to our MFD, it is now automatically became our soy sensor. And I'm going to press expand FOV. Expand FOV to zoom in. Now I can see some hot targets down here, one and two. So I'm going to move my cursor over it, press DMS up. And when you see that the bars are shaking like this, it's because it's a good lock. Now I'm going to reset the lock with TMS down and I'm just going to move the cursor around. So I, you can see this small cross now. This is the line of sight of the missile um, moving inside the casing on the uh, head of the missile. To make sure that the missile will be able to maneuver uh, to the target, it is highly suggested that the uh, line of sight of the missile stays within an area that is defined as a as an old keyhole. And here's a picture of what I mean. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna move back my uh, cursor, my crosshairs on the first target. I'm gonna go TMS up, and now we are six miles out. All the conditions are met and rifle. Second missile is up. I'm gonna go expand FOV to zoom in. I'm gonna select the next target. TMS up. Oop, that's not the right one. TMS up. Here we go. And rifle. That's on pause. Now to reset, I go TMS down. And we got two good checks there. Now another way to do this, instead of flying my flight path vector right onto the target area, we can uh, move the targeting box with the radar cursor switch. And then press TMS up. I'm just gonna wait a few seconds here for the clouds to move out of the way and TMS up and now focus our attention on our MFD. Expand FOV, move the radar cursor and press TMS up. Four miles out, the uh, line of sight is in the area, the keyhole we talked about earlier and rifle. Reset everything, TMS down, move the box. TMS up, go to the screen. Move the cursor, DMS up, rifle, probably too close for this shot. I don't think the missile is going to make it. Yeah, we hit the first one, but not the second one. We were way too close. So let's maneuver and come back for another attack. TMS down. Brings the targeting box back to our flight path vector. And let's give ourselves some room. Uh, the Maverick will most likely not lock outside of 8 miles. So you want to be at 8 miles at the most. And uh, you want to be looking at the uh, target through the heads-up display. I mean, in the field of view of the heads-up display, that's a good indication that the missile will be able to maneuver to uh, the target. Five miles out now. Let's try to turn in. All right, I'm gonna move my box. TMS up, go to my MFD, expand FOV, find the second tank, and there it is. And TMS up, TMS up again. Not quite, there we go. It's in the uh, keyhole, three miles in the field of view of my heads up display, rifle. Shack. This is our the troops right here, the convoy. They're shooting at something. We got two tanks down. 
Now we're going to try to do the same thing, but with the uh, the bore mode. So I'm going to use my radar cursor switch to change the mode from viz to bore. Bore mode brings up a cross in the uh, heads-up display, and this cross is moved using the radar cursor switch. Now this cross is uh, never ground stabilized. I can press TMS up all day long. It's not going to lock onto anything unless there is good contrast. And I, if I maneuver my airplane, you can see that the line of sight of the uh, missile moves with it. So it, we got to be really, really stable when using this mode and moving the uh, cursor. So we're going to go back to the same target area and try to do the exact same thing but in bore mode. Just waiting for that green smoke to show up. Here's the green smoke. I'm going to move the cross to roughly where the targets were earlier. Moving down to my MFD. Expand FOV. Oh, here are the two uh, the two tanks. Oh, so I'm going to... As you can see, it's not ground stabilized. As I'm moving forward with the jet, the camera keeps looking forward. So uh, I'm going to move my cursor and try to go TMS up. Here we go. We got lucky on this one. We are within the uh, area of the uh, keyhole. Five miles out. Rifle. The uh, cross has reset it to the center. Bring it back down. Now I'm out of trim because I launched one, one missile. So it's going to be harder. Trim out a bit. Expand FOV. Try to get the second one. Here we go, and rifle. Let's see if we can hit both of them on the one pass. Here's one. Here's two. Altitude. Altitude. Harder to do, you gotta trim out your aircraft in order to be very stable, otherwise the camera keeps moving around and it's very hard to acquire a lock. All right, last demo for the for today. We're going to be using the um, AGM-65 hotels this time, the white ones with the TV-guided seeker. Um, this switch is a little different. It, it, it changes the color of the symbology, but if you keep pressing it a third time, you're going to hit area. Area is uh, a lock onto uh, just the area you're looking at. The other, the normal lock of the Maverick relies on a sufficient contrast for it to be able to guide onto a target. Area mode allows us to launch the missile from a much for much longer distance because it doesn't require any contrast. It's just going for the area you have designed uh, designated. So let's go try that out. You remember from the previous examples we made that the tanks are sitting just in front of. Um, a big white hanger so we're going to use uh, this hanger to uh, aim without locking exactly on the tanks and let's see how that goes so we're in viz mode i'm going to bring my box down towards the uh, target area we're coming in also on a slightly different angle I believe this is the um, hanger. Yes. So we're just going to go and select the area. Go TMS up and rifle. I'm going to use my heads up display to move my box again. Dive down a bit, down to the area. TMS up, then refine my aim, TMS up, rifle, so this is the first missile, this one is just guiding to the area we told it to go. Now we can use the helmet mounted display to designate a target. So let's say I'm pointing not straight at the target 
And so I'm, what we're going to do is go TMS up along, it brings a box, and then we look at the target area and go TMS up, and then we look at our MFD and we can refine our aim. TMS up on this tank. Let's turn right just a bit to help the uh, Maverick maneuver. Six miles out. Make sure it is still locked on it. Yes, it is. Rifle. Reset the box. Move it. TMS up. Ground stabilized. Expand FOV. Let's go to the this tank. TMS up. Rifle. There's one. There's two. Well, Mavericks are a very efficient weapon, but they do require a little bit of practice. Next video, we're going to be looking at using the Mavericks with the targeting pod. Thank you. See you next time.